Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. In this video or the hands-on session, we'll see that how you can make use of the blue-green deployment method to ensure that once you deploy the new application version, then you can use an option which is swap URLs or you can swap the link and ensure that your domain's traffic is being sent to the instances or to the environment with the new application version running upon them. So let's see the entire process. Now, as you see that this is the same application that we have been working upon. And in our previous lecture, I showed you that how you can make use of the immutable deployment policy to update your application version. So if I go to the left hand side environment and click on the URL, you will see that it produces a page with a green colored background and if i just go back to the other environment so let me just go back to my prod environment if i just click on the link it produces a blue colored page so in the previous lecture i showed you that how you can make use of the immutable deployment policy to get this new page and we have updated the source code or the application version now I want to make sure that this prod environment URL or the link is the main link that my domain traffic should be pointing towards to. So my domain's traffic should be sent to this link, which will show me the blue colored background web page. So let's do one thing. I just go to my services and I open Route 53 or Route 53 under networking and content delivery section. And once I just go to the Route 53, I just go to my hosted zones. I click on my domain. Now I just create a new hosted zone, create a record set. And so this is my hosted zone for my domain. I just go on the top and click on create record set. And this record set would be sent to the alias record or the target. And the alias target I will choose would be this one, Node.js app. This is the environment, the test environment, which will produce the green colored web page if it is sent my domain's traffic to this link. So I choose this thing and I have to choose the routing policy. Now I choose the weighted routing policy because I want to ensure that 90% of the traffic will be sent to my green environment. So I choose my weighted routing policy. Weight would be 90. So 90% 90 of the traffic should be sent to which environment? Let me show you back once again. So let's go back to the Elastic Beanstalk. I want to ensure that 90% of the traffic goes to this environment, this one. And if I just go to this environment, click on this link, it will show me the green colored, colored web page. So the background color is green. So I want to ensure that I sent my traffic, 90% of my domain's traffic should be sent to this environment, which gives me the green colored web page output, right? So I just go back to the huge 53 dashboard and the set ID would be, for example, green environment. That's it. This is the set ID and I click on create. I just create a duplicate record set and I will just forward 10% of the traffic to the blue colored environment. So I click on create record set once again, choose alias, alias target I will choose as this one, my app in prod link. Now this link is associated to the prod environment. If let's go to the prod environment and click on this URL or the link, so it will produce or it will give you the output in the form of the web page which has the blue background. So having said that, I just go back to my Route 53. So I choose my prod environment alias target, routing policy weighted, weight 10%. Set ID, let's type in blue environment. Done. I click on create. Now, the thing is that if 
I expand this, I'm sending 90% of the traffic to the green environment, to the environment which has the application version, which will show me the green colored background, the page, and 10% has been sent to the blue environment, which will produce as a blue background web page as an output. So if I just open my domain and test it, so let me just type in my domain so that we can see if this is working for us. So here we go. You will see that I'm getting to the green web page because 90% of the traffic should go to the green web page. Now, the thing is that I want to perform a blue green deployment because if I just go back to my application page, I want to ensure that I phase out or I terminate the green colored environment and I just divert the entire traffic to the blue environment or the prod environment. So I want to ensure that I terminate the test environment, I phase out the test environment and divert the entire traffic to the prod environment. So I want to ensure that all my domain traffic should be sent to the prod environment, which will produce the blue web pages. So how do I do that? It's a simple process. I need to make sure that I go to the prod environment because I want the entire traffic to be sent to this environment. I just go over there. And once I go to my prod environment, I just go to the action. And I have to just click on this important, or I would say this is the most important setting that you have to click on or you have to go through swap environment URLs. So I click on swap option. Now I want to swap the test link with this prod link. So I choose my I would say I would choose my prod link and I want to swap this with the test link. So what it will do is that it will highlight this production link as a main link. So we are swapping the URLs. So you can see over here, swapping the environment URL will modify the root 53 DS configuration, which may take a few minutes. Your application will continue to run while the changes are being propagated. So I'm, I'm swapping the environment URLs so that my production link becomes a main link. And this will change some settings behind the scenes in the huge 53 DNS servers. So I click on swap right now in front of you. And you can see that it says Elastic Beanstalk is updating your environment. Now this takes a few minutes to come into action. The swapping is done. But if I just go to my domain let me just go to my domain real quick so that I, I need to ensure that it works fine for us if i hit refresh let's see if it works because it takes few minutes for this to be up and running so let's wait because uh, once we swap the url then in that case the entire domain traffic will be sent to my production environment or the prod environment the advanced environment link so that i can i can just get to the blue pages and once this testing is successful, I can terminate my test environment, which gives me the green web pages. So we need to wait for a few seconds and see if it comes into action. By the way, we can do one thing in the meantime because uh, the prod environment is up and running. So we can safely do one thing. We can just go back to the application page and we can just go to the test environment, go to actions and click on terminate environment because our short environment is is up and running we have swapped the c names for environments so we have we have done the swapping so it's safer for us to delete the test environment so let's go to the actions and click on terminate environment and i mentioned the exact name of this test environment or the green environment before i can just click on terminate so just mention the name of it click on terminate so it's updating my environment. I would say that it's deleting or terminating my test environment because I want the 
broad environment, the production environment to come into action and the entire domain's traffic to be, should be sent to the production environment. My entire domain's traffic should be sent to that single environment. So if I just go to the Node.js app and hit refresh, you will see that it will take a few seconds for this to be terminated. It takes some time. You can see that it's terminating everything behind the scenes. And if I hit refresh, you can see that it's working. Now, my entire traffic, my domain's traffic would be sent to Route 53 TNS servers to the production instances or the production environment. So I've swapped the environment URLs and ensure that my production environment is up and running. I terminated the test environment and now the entire traffic is being sent to this production environment. So I've performed something called blue-green deployment. So I've, I've removed my test en environment. Before that, I've swapped the URLs and then you can see that it's up and running. That's how you do that. That's how you perform the blue-green deployment. That's it. Thank you so very much.